guys welcome back to my channel my name is autumn today i'm going to be sharing with you guys my breastfeeding must-haves if you are new here i have two little girls i have a 14 day old little girl and a two year old little girl i would love so much if you would stick around and hit that red subscribe button i post motherhood lifestyle content here on this channel and i would love to have you as a subscriber also follow me over on instagram i'll leave my instagram up here on the screen give me a follow over there i am very active on instagram and would love to have you um but anyways today i'm going to be sharing with you guys my breastfeeding must-haves like i said i have a 14 day old little girl and i was not very successful with my first breastfeeding journey i was only able to breastfeed for three months and it was just a struggle i had to supplement um during that and it was just really really hard on me um i thought that breastfeeding would just come very natural uh, which it is very natural but i thought that it would i wouldn't have to do like any research i thought that i wouldn't have to watch any videos or i wouldn't have to have any products that i'm going to be mentioning today i had none of these when i was breastfeeding my daughter so um, i want to share these with you guys and let you know what would be helpful if you are trying to breastfeed so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to keep this video very simple and only mention products that i think you absolutely need the first one is a Haka, and I actually have two of these, one I keep downstairs and one I keep upstairs. Um, I would possibly get a third one because they are so amazing just to keep in the diaper bag, but for now I just grab one of them that I have downstairs and put it in the diaper bag. But these, if you don't know what this is, it is amazing. It has literally saved me so much milk. Um, basically this is like a hands-free type breast pump that catches your letdown. So I exclusively nurse, um, and say Scarlett is feeding on my left side. I will place this on my right side. All you do is pop it like that and suction it on. Sometimes if I like don't have the hands, I'll just kind of squeeze the bottom and suck it on there. Um, and this will catch your letdown. So um, I have been able to save a lot of milk using these. Um, this one is their third generation Hakka and this one is the first generation. Honestly, I prefer the first generation. I do like this one, but I feel like this one um, is easier to put on. Like when I already have her latched, this one's just easy to put on. This one's a little bit harder, I guess, because it's bigger. Um, but if you are planning on nursing, you absolutely need this. I will have one linked down below for you guys. This is a absolute must. The next must have is a boppy pillow. I cannot express how much you need a boppy pillow when you're breastfeeding. Um, right now my daughter's waking up throughout the night and I wanna be comfortable when I breastfeed because being comfortable and just like not stressed and not causing any stress on your back or anything like that when you're breastfeeding is very important. So this boppy has literally saved my back and my arms everything so i will just wrap this around me like so i don't know if you guys can see that very well um and if she's feeding over here um i do like the i don't know how you say it like the normal position i don't do her to the side like the football i just do her like right here in the front because that's what works best for me whatever works best for you um and i can lay her on this while i'm getting everything adjusted um, lay her on the boppy pillow, get everything ready, place her on there, and I'm able to like kind of put my hand underneath the boppy and just support her more. Um, it is so helpful. It has literally saved my arms from hurting at night and my back. Um, also, a little tip um, when I am breastfeeding at night, I use the boppy pillow and also use two pillows. So I will just put a pillow and my boppy pillow beside the bed. And when I get up to feed her, I just grab that pillow and my bobby pillow and I will put two pillows behind my back just so I'm like sitting up and I'm very comfortable. And then I'll place that around me and I have found it to be a lifesaver and I absolutely think you need one if you're going to breastfeed. Another must have is a very comfortable, supportive bra um, with clips. So this is a nursing bra. I got this um, off of Amazon, a pack of three I actually mentioned this in my what I'm bringing to the hospital. Um, so these just have little hooks on them. I'm wearing the black one right now and it comes with a light pink. I will have them linked down below. They are amazing and very affordable. I think you get three for $27, which is pretty good. Um, but this one actually took the padding out. This one, I still have it in there, but I like to have one that's comfortable for nighttime. 
Um, I mean, these are very comfortable, but just to make it a little bit more comfortable, I took the padding out of one of them and that way I can sleep in it and it's like not even wearing a bra. Um, but they have the a little adjustable um, hooks on the back and there's like many different sizes. They also have like a little attachment. If you need it to be a little bit bigger, you can add a little attachment onto this. Um, but I love these bras. I think they're really good, especially for the price of them. I highly recommend these. You definitely need a good nursing bra. Speaking of nursing bras, you're gonna need some nursing pads. These are just the Parents' Choice ones. I found these work really good for me. Um, basically, I'm gonna open this up and show you guys what it is. If you're not familiar, this is just a little like pad that you open up and this side is like, um, they're both really soft, but this side has sticky on it. You just take the sticky part off, stick this part to your bra, and then this side catches any milk. Um, like I said, my letdown is catch in that haka, but if you um, are at night and you're leaking or your milk is leaking when you're out and about, these are really, really important to have. So um, these are very affordable too. They're just the Walmart parents choice ones so you're definitely going to want some nursing pads the next thing you're going to want is some nursing bags if you are pumping you're going to need these but if you're exclusively nursing like i am doing right now um the haka catches a lot of milk so that's what i use these for i really really like these medela ones they actually have um a little like opening on the bottom so you can actually set them on the counter which is very convenient if, like i'm holding scarlet so yes you're going to need a good storage bag whether you're exclusively nursing or pumping a good um storage bag so you can keep your milk in the freezer or in the fridge the next products i'm going to talk about are kind of like for healing um i use this so much in the beginning um i still use this but like the first like three days when your nipples are very very sore this stuff is amazing this is the Earth Mama Organic Nipple Butter. I cannot recommend this enough. I did not have this with my first daughter, which is one of the reasons that, um, you can see how much I've used of that already, um, is one of the reasons that I feel like I was having a really hard time breastfeeding is because I was so sore and my nipples hurt so bad. Um, I wanted to get a good organic that's like safe for my baby um, to put on there so that way it'll help and it has helped so much. So I have this link down below for you guys. I definitely recommend this. Um, I had a lot of like cracking and um, like just very, very painful um, blisters that came up and this saved my life. This is the Silverette, I think is how you say it. Um, they actually sent these over to me and I can't recommend them enough. They're little silver, I'm gonna take them out of here. Little silver, literally this is plain silver um, plates that go on your nipples when you have cracking or that they're sore. Um, I didn't really use them when they were just sore. I only used them when I had like a crack or if I had like a little blister or something on there. I used these, I put a little bit of breast milk into them, like into the little capsules and put them on there and just held them in there in my nursing bra and i cannot recommend these enough like it took it away the next day it was gone so i swear by these the next two things i'm going to talk about are products that kind of boost your supply um i like to say i have like a normal supply i don't feel like it's like an oversupply and i don't think it's an under like i don't think i'm lacking milk um i think it's just pretty average um my baby's eating and gaining weight she is above her birth weight already so it is these lactation support um pump princess pills i love these they do not smell the best and they don't taste the best but you just put a capsule in and you swallow it um but it kind of just tastes like herbs um and like i don't know it's just not the best tasting but these are by legendary milk they do have an instagram I will link these down below for you guys as well. Um, they're made with organic ingredients and I found them to work really good for me. I was exclusively pumping with my first daughter and these are just left over. I was going to take these but um, with my first daughter but that was right at the three month mark and I'd only taken like one or two of them and I decided I'm just going to give up breastfeeding. I just can't do it. 
um and that's when i was exclusively pumping so that's why i got the pump ones i think once i finish these i'm just gonna try um different ones that they have that their brand offers but so far these have worked really good for me like i said i don't feel like i have like an oversupply of milk but i definitely don't feel like i'm lacking in any way um so those have been really good and I can tell like when I take them that um, I get engorged. So that's a plus. Um, the next thing that is a must is to stay hydrated. I just drank this. This is the um, Peach Mango Body Armor. I really like the, I think it's Strawberry Banana. And this is the Peach Mango one. I like both of them, but the Strawberry one's my favorite. Um, but these are a really good like healthy drink too. There's only 14 carbs, 15 calories. Uh, 10% coconut water so they're not really bad there's zero sugar in them um, this is the low calorie low calorie no sugar added one but the other one uh, has like sugar and carbs and all that stuff but it's really good and these definitely help your milk supply because every time I drink one I can feel the engorgement another thing that I don't have with me but I place it on my grocery order to pick up tomorrow are lactation cookies if I have a picture, I will put it up here. If not, um, I will link them down below because they are on Amazon too. They have really helped me. They have them at Target, Walmart, and on Amazon. They're just these little um, munchkin, I believe is the brand there by Lactation Cookies. And they taste amazing and they definitely help with my milk supply. Every time that I will eat them, I can feel let down. Um, and then same with these drinks. Every time I drink one of these, I can feel the let down happening and I can also um, tell when I'm being engorged. That is all of my breastfeeding must-haves. I hope you find this video helpful and you will go out and get these products because I swear by them and you absolutely need all of them if you're going to breastfeed. Hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.